Samsung One UI 6.1.1 was released for the Galaxy S23 Ultra 2. S23 Ultra on the left, S24 Ultra on the left, the absolute very same change lock here. So guys, there are of course some differences and I wanna cover this in the video. And also in this video, you're gonna see comparison between the interface navigation and also the animation, because you know that this is something I cover on this channel. Features as well, but if you wanna go and check my One UI 6.1.1 full feature review, please do that. First thing, when the One UI 6.1.1 came for the S24 Ultra, it came with a version AXH7 and it was more than three gigabytes, so 3073 megabytes. Same here in terms of security patch, same from August, but the version here is CXH7 and the whole update is 400 megabytes less, so it's 2.6 gigabytes. What does this mean? Well, we have to find out, but it could mean a lot of things. And then we're gonna be trying to discover this in the next days and weeks. Now, in terms of all the updates, so it's AI updates, productivity updates, everything seems to be there. This is the new Galaxy AI menu with the advanced intelligence. We have the call assist, chat assist, the interpreter, the notices, the transcript assist, the browsing assist. Now, those things are really AI supercharged and please go and watch my full One UI 6.1.1 review. We have the drawing assist, but there are already some differences that we see because here we do have also the photo ambient wallpaper and this could be also related to the fact that the S24 Ultra can also project a picture on the wallpaper and you have various effects. So we don't have this here. So drawing assist is the last one. And here we have the photo ambient wallpaper and also the health assist. All the other options seems to be the same. So this might explain why the update for the S24 Ultra was uh, more than three gigabytes. And here we have 2.6 gigabytes. But because I said that I wanna focus on animations, guys, let's do this. I'm using the same grid on my home screen. How can we check this? All right, we can go inside the settings, check the home screen grid, the up screen grid and the folder grid. Now, something that I would like to check is the version of the One UI Home, 15.5.05.5. It is the absolute same version, which will mean that potentially the animations and uh, everything else around this should be the same. But of course, this is what we're gonna be testing here. So also using the very same wallpaper from Walworld. I get a lot of questions, hey, where do you take this? I basically use these two apps. One is Walrod, the other is the Lunar app. Everything handcrafted by Matthias Eckert. Go buy those apps, they're not expensive. And guys, I'm also recording this in 60 FPS so that you can just see how well or not well the animations do work. So this is usually the first test that I'm doing. A lot of people might think why? Well, because with the ears, Samsung had problems even with this. Now with the S22 and S23 and S24, we see that they finally nailed this down. Okay, one swipe here will give me uh, the quick settings that we know are gonna be redesigned in One UI 7, hopefully not too much. Okay, smart view, click on it. Absolutely the same thing. Now we are back on the home screen. This will give me the notifications. Okay, we can swipe left or right, just clear them. All right, as you can see, it works pretty much the same with the same bouncy effect. Okay, one more time, just to be sure. All right, while I'm here, let's open Spotify. All right, opening Spotify, going outside. One more time, opening Spotify and then going outside. Now, I have chosen this wallpaper for a specific reason because you can just see the padding and the scaling when I'm going in or out from an application and then also check what happens with this tree because this will give you a very good baseline for comparison, uh, okay, in terms of animation. So this is what I see right on the screen. Now, guys, let's go inside the app drawer, okay? No big surprises. Everything seems to be working quite nice. If I go to the right, Google Now, absolutely flawless on both phones. Everybody really hopes that with the One UI 7, finally, Samsung are going to bring the fluidity to the level of Color OS, of Origin OS, of Hyper OS, and uh, many others, right? Included also iOS, because right now there are still those things where we know they're not quite perfect, right? But overall, it has become better and better in time. Now let's do folder opening. All right, as you can see, really flawless. Now recent menu, okay. And one more time, recent menu. Everything works into the exact same way. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna close everything, voila. 
I even have a feeling that the S22 it was just a tiny bit faster. Now let's open Telegram. Faster on the S23 Ultra going outside. Right, recent menu, killing it. I um, will want to reopen it again. Telegram, all right, now same speed. All right, let's open X. I'm using the X better on both phones. Going outside, inside. All right, you guys let me know what do you think down below in the comments. I do believe that all the animations now are absolutely equalized. All right, this is the edge panels, okay. We can also go and choose a combo. In that case, I have this combo. This is Telegram and X. In this case, I'm gonna use another combo. This is YouTube and also the internet. Works like a charm, even with different apps. You can also do like this and bring the app into a pop-up. Not a lot of OSs had that in the beginning right now. I think almost all of the OSs except iOS. It's a true multi-window experience. You can click here, close it. All right, sometimes, again, these stuttering elements. Now let's open Instagram, I do this for a reason. All right, if we scroll down a bit, it's gonna be 120 hertz. And the moment we go to the viewfinder, there is this kind of like chopping animation. But I think now with 186.1, it is a tiny bit better. Everything that you can do with the S24 Ultra and the supercharged Galaxy AI, you can do it here. Like the live effects that will just create a stunning animation and separate the object from the background, but then also draw the sketch so here you can save this as an mp4 video file if you go from the edge panels of course you're gonna have smart select where you can just circle search some things now sadly we still have the limitation that the one hand operation plus and also you're not able to just select different areas we covered that doesn't really work like it used to be hopefully they bring it back not a lot of people have high hopes on this one if i go back to the home screen here we have the sketch to image and you can use the sketch to image here you can use it everywhere else you can use it really inside the notes so it's just up to you what you want to do with this all right now for example this is the first thing we can draw a cat and now i can try to draw a house and i know it's going to work so basically if you have a galaxy s23 ultra you're getting like 90 95 percent of everything else just remember we have this thing with the wallpapers which by the way you can go from wallpaper and style and when you click on the change wallpapers there is something called photo ambient and this thing apparently doesn't work on the S23 Ultra, okay, you see here, it's not a house, it's a bag, but I still like it. If I am to go now inside wallpaper and style, if we go below, we just have the create with air, but we don't have the photo ambient, which allows you to choose a picture of your own, and then based on the weather conditions, you know, to apply different weather styles. You have also the generative AI that you can use to create this very nice and stunning wallpapers. And by the way, a lot of these things require the phone to be connected. So it's, it's not really off device. And it's true AI because even with the same prompt guys, you're able to create different results. So it's not that you're gonna get like 100% the same results, see? It's an abstract gray distant mountain range with ice. And you know how this works. You click here, you can put, let's say waves. Okay, and then you put generate. And by the way, why I'm showing this in the video, just to show you that the S23 Ultra is not so slower, right? Okay, this might be a bit the same, but it's still not. So all the AI features are still there, okay? And you can use them again, just this option with the photo wallpaper and some things with a health and not there. But everything else is gonna be there. Like for example, recording your notes, like for example, recording your notes, and then have the option to transcribe the notes. Of course, you can choose different languages there. This is also integrated inside the note. So you can have a note, you can use sketch to image there drawing assist and uh, then you can also try to perform all the nice AI stuff like the summarization and stuff like that. So everything here works exactly in the same way like it works on the S24 Ultra. We do have also the new Smart Composer. Well, we can just put a prompt there, some nice idea and then use different styles to generate text. So the AI will generate text for you. So it's basically 95% the same. And in terms of animation, I do also believe that it's just like a one-to-one -one copy, which kind of makes the S23 phone a legendary phone. Now guys, what I wanna do also in the video, I wanna go back to the photo and try to sneak some pics and just see how that will work. One of my tests are going to include also, I don't know, how the camera has been optimized, okay? I think that the shutter speed became quite fast. 
That was not the case before. If we go inside the intelligent optimization, we can see that I'm using the highest available settings. The quality is set to maximum, scene optimizer is on. So for sure it seems that this is a bit quicker. Something that you cannot do with the Galaxy S23 Ultra before. Recording the video, all right, still the case on UHD 60 and then being able to switch the lenses. I think this is a stupid limitation. Here I can go use the 60, use the ultra wide and then the 3x dedicated zoom, the 5x and go back. Here, you know, you're only allowed to use digital zoom from the crop. I really wish something to change this, but maybe they think the S23 Ultra 8 Gen 2 cannot handle this. I don't really believe so, but let me know what you think down in below in the comments. The Samsung stock internet browser is also supercharged. Now you can not only translate the pages, but also create a summary, which is actually quite nice because even after having the summary, you're able to translate it to the languages that you want, and then you can copy this, insert it into notes. So it's really a powerhouse. Also what we can test, my files also got some boost. So now I should be able to just select this folder, right? And put it here and boom, we have this almost desktop like experience directly in the One UI. And if you don't like it, of course, you can just remove it. So again, all the productivity tips and tricks from One UI 6.1.1 made their way there. And in terms of photo editing, everything is going to work also on the S23 Ultra. Once you click this button, you have the portrait studio and here the sketch to image. Oh, let me try to draw a bird here. If of course my drawing skill allows me, most probably not. Don't you worry about this AI is so clever. It's gonna try to draw anything there. So the sketch to image also works in terms of the video editor. <laughs> I kind of like this. The portrait studio works as well. I demonstrate this, so you can click sketch here, you can generate um, different styles like 3D cartoon or comic or just sketch and it's gonna work and it works really exactly the same way as it works in the <laughs> S24 Ultra. So guys, what do you think about the animations? All right, let's open some widgets here. Okay, this is the same widgets, weather, going outside. Okay, pay attention to these trees, all right? I do believe that this time it is absolutely one-to-one. -one. One UI 6.1.1 applied, I think, a bigger zoom out effect once you just go back to the home screen compared to the 6.1. Now I do believe that with the 6.1.1 for the S23 Ultra, everything really seems the same, which is uh, exactly what we want. And also in terms of consistency, it looks just better. Okay, we have still the problem with Spotify. Sometimes it works, Spotify widget sometimes not. The only part that is not so cool is that sometimes there's gonna be these uh, accidental stutters, but they are minimal right now. So I do believe that the One UI 6.1.1 interface is really great, and this only elevates my personal hopes for the One UI 7, which now hopefully should be in the beta testing. And let's hope that in the next few weeks, we are gonna get our hands on the One UI 7 Beta 1 for both the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like these videos, you know what to do. Support the channel, stay safe, VST over, and bye.